I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started. And we are recording this session, so uh, Meredith will send that out to everyone uh, that attends, and also anyone that couldn't make it will be able to watch this on YouTube anytime. So thank you for joining us. My name is Andrew Stanley, and um, Volunteer Mark is the company that I've created. I'm here from Kansas City. I went to St. Thomas Aquinas High School and University of Kansas, and so been in Kansas City my whole life. And I'm here to just really briefly uh, explain uh, what Volunteer Mark is and, and how you can use it. It's uh, completely free, and it's a tool to help St. Teresa's Academy and their students be able to keep track of their service hours. I also have Meredith Snyder on the call, um, who many of you probably have already been working with. And so she's also available to answer questions. So um, we'll hold the questions till the end. And I'll try to keep this brief for you guys, but want to definitely be available to answer any questions and actually show you what everything looks like and make sure we get all your questions answered. Um, so the first thing uh, is got just basic outline. I'm going to introduce what Volunteer Mark is and what problem it solves, and then walk you through how you create your free account and what it actually looks like to approve hours. Um, and then here's some frequently asked questions, so I'll be sure and address those. Uh, this is my contact information down here, so please do contact me uh, anytime with any questions you might have. I'm available to, to help you. Um, so basically, Volunteer Mark is, uh, you can go to volunteermark.com is our website. Um, and it's a it's a tool to help um, schools, nonprofits, and individuals uh, to be able to keep track of their volunteer experience. Um, so we really have a way to help uh, the students that are, you know, have the service hour requirement be able to keep track of all those hours in one place, get them verified by the organizations, and then print off a certificate uh, service hour transcript um, that they need for their school. So this is a digital solution to do that, and it's just meant to be easy for everyone involved in that process. Um, so it's nice because it's web-based, so they can access this from anywhere, um, and the hours are verified. So you no longer have to worry about signing permission slips or printing off a letterhead. Uh, it's going to be all verified through our website, and then you have the reporting that they need. Um, now, I do want to just explain briefly that, um, I mean, we are a company, so uh, the way this works is we have a premium version that nonprofits can pay for, um, and it allows them to do additional things. Uh, but we also have the free version, and that's what we're talking about today. It's um, completely free. We just wanted to make sure that when we have a school like St. Teresa's using it, that all nonprofits can be a part of the same system so that um, we can communicate efficiently and get all those hours you know through the same platform so it's completely free um, but it is limited in what you can do uh, so if you're interested in more features you know contact me and we can talk about that um, so when you come to volunteermark.com this is what you'll see um, and really uh, what you'll be interested in is just creating that free account for the first time um, and that's important so that when the when the students are volunteering with you, that your name will be an option for them to select. Um, so to create your, your free account, um, it's maybe not the most intuitive right now, but if you click on pricing, that should show this screen here, and that shows the different plans that we have. So if you choose, if you go to the far left free plan, there's a button that says create account. Um, if you created it through this link, then that would be um, the premium account that you would eventually um, be charged for. So just make sure you're signing up for the free account on the far left. You click the button create account and then you just fill out this form and that's really it. Um, so um, here's a couple examples of people that I know are on this webinar. So you know children's TLC uh, org. So you could just type in uh, your organization's name is the first field, children's TLC. Um, and you will just want to make sure all this information is right. Um, we can update it for you, but um, like I said, it's a very basic account. So we just want to make sure we get that right from the beginning. So the main thing that uh, might cause the most problem is for the website, 
uh, it just needs to start with the HTTP colon slash slash. Um, so if you copy and paste the full address, you'll make sure you get that right. And then this is just who's the person in charge of approving hours. So you can put, you know, anyone at your organization. So that's probably going to be the people that are on this call. Um, you know, this is just my demo site, so I'm just going to put myself here. And then you just need your email address. And so that's really the most important piece to this because uh, you'll receive an email notification each time that a student uh, requests hours to be approved. So um, I already have a lot of uh, emails in there in the demo. So I'll use TLC at volunteermark.com. And then a phone number to reach you. Um, and that's really uh, just for our purposes in case, um, you know, we just want to make sure that these are all valid uh, nonprofits. Um, so if there's any kind of question, we can contact you. And then your password that you want to log in to the account. Um, and with that, um, you know, it does need to have a number. Um, but if, if you did something that wasn't valid, it would prompt you and say it needs to be you know, uh, a stronger password. Okay, so there we go. I created it and now that's it. You have your free account with us and it's very simple. There's nobody that's that's logged any hours. Um, so the next thing, once you create that account, you'll receive an email. So I got an email that says from Volunteer Mark, activate your account. Um, and this just confirms that this is your email address. Um, so you just click the button from that email, activate your account. And now your account is approved with us. Um, we can look at now what this looks like for a volunteer. So I'm going to switch browsers now and show you this is um, a volunteer. So when a volunteer comes to the website, they can, they can do a search um, to find an organization. Those would be our premium organizations. Um, and so they can sign up to volunteer and they can do a lot of things. Um, and again, it's free for the volunteers. So they're going to create an account. Uh, all of the St. Teresa's Academy students have an account already. Um, and then they can keep track of how many approved hours they have and how many uh, pending service hours they have. And they can create the certificate that shows a breakdown of all of those hours. So I just created this account uh, you know, today. So there's no, not a whole lot of information, but that's what the students will be logging in to make sure that they reach their service hour commitment. So they can log hours for the, all the different organizations in this one place. So once they have signed in as a volunteer, this is what they look at for their account. And they click the, the button, log my hours. And then we just created children's TLC. So there it is in the drop down list. Um, so I'll select that. And then again, this is just showing you what a volunteer will do. So then they just choose the date that they volunteered. And let's say it was last Saturday. And they say how many hours that was. Maybe they did four hours. And then they give you notes. So they said, I, um, you know, I, I, I read to the children. So they could type in a message there. And then they hit save hours. And then, um, it might take just a second, you'll get an email uh, from Volunteer Mark. So this is exactly what it'll look like for you. Uh, and it says, Dominic submitted, uh, you know, four hours. I read to the children, and there's the date. Um, right now the email, the uh, images aren't being displayed. But um, you'll just get a very simple email like this that says to uh, approve, modify, or deny the request. Um, so one of our frequently asked questions is, uh, can you approve hours by email? Well, uh, you get an email as a notification, but then what you'll need to do is actually log in to volunteermark.com, uh, and then it'll it'll show your dashboard here. So I just refreshed this page uh, to see that now we have uh, Dominic here um, has submitted those four hours, and so we can we can see the notes, we can see the date worked. Um, and when he submitted that and how many hours he submitted. And if I click on his name, then I could see his completed profile information. Um, Dominic does not have a completed profile, but uh, if he did, then I would see all this information that he's entered. Um, 
And then, so we just have, we have two options. We can approve the hours or we can deny the hours. So, you know, if you know that he did not actually show up, you just hit no, deny hours. Um, or maybe you know that he showed up, but he only worked uh, two hours. Then you can override that. You can just enter your own number there. And then if you hit yes, approve, then it approves it. And now if I refresh Dominic's um, account, it went from four pending hours to seven approved hours. And then we can view his certificate. And there's another line, children's TLC. So you can see how the students will be able to just create a, a transcript of all of their approved service hours. Um, now, that's really all you can do is you can approve hours uh, or deny hours. And you can click on their name to get more information about them. Um, and you can also, you know, upgrade your account if you'd want to become uh, a premium subscriber. Um, and one thing that you'll probably want to know is how do you log in once you've created that account. So if you click on your name at the top right, you can log out. Um, and so when you return to volunteermark.com, once you've created that free trial account, you'll just click log in up here. And then that's where you'll use your email address that is registered. So I use TLC at volunteermark.com. And my password. And then I log in. And so, and you can save that password if you'd like. Uh, and it's empty. So if you see this screen, that just means there's no uh, outstanding request. So, um, you know, you'll get those emails uh, as hours are submitted to you. And, um, you know, you can just do this on a, on a regular basis. Um, and so the emails are just really reminders that, hey, there's an activity on Volunteer Mark. Um, go ahead and log in and um, take care of that request. So you can't do it directly through your email. It's just going to let you know about that. Um, and then let's see, let's go back to my Word document. So that's how you create your free account. Um, and what you have to do is really just uh, create a free account. Um, you'll just need to have a designated person at, at your agency who's you know, authorized to approve hours. Um, but really, you know, we don't want to make this more work. We, we think this will be a lot easier than having to um, you know, have to physically sign something or attach a document to an email and go back and forth. You could just keep all this in one place. Um, and we talked a lot about that. We talked about how you create that free account. It's under the pricing page. And the difference between the free and the paid is basically if you had the paid account, you could actually post you know, the events and the things that you wanted the volunteers to sign up for. But the free account really just allows the volunteer to um, submit hours. And then um, at this time, I'll just open it up for questions. You can use the the raise hand feature if you have a question and I'll unmute you and uh, we can go from there. And also Meredith, if there's anything you'd like to add that um, you know people might have questions on or that I missed, uh, I'd be happy to talk about that. Thanks. Yeah, I'm trying to think of anything that um, somebody might need to know. Sure. I don't see any question. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to unmute uh, Karen Miller. So go ahead, Karen. What's your question? Karen, do you have uh, audio hooked up? Um, or you could type your question. But you should be unmuted. So. I don't know, might be having some technical difficulties. Okay. Going to put Karen back on mute, I guess. Uh, she changed her mind. So if anyone else has a question, um, let me know. Like I said, this will be on YouTube. So if you forget where do you go or what do you uh, do, uh, you can access that at any time. Um, and then also, I just thank you for, for being a part of this and for, um, you know, partnering with St. Teresa's. Another benefit that 
we talk about um, with, for the students is that they will be able to see what hours they've completed and how many hours they still have to complete. So we hope that that will take a little bit of work off your plate also with students asking um, how many more hours they have to serve or um, need, you know, we'll just all be more on the same page about where the students are in their projects. Yeah, because what I'm not showing you, because I didn't want to overwhelm you, is that St. Teresa's has a separate dashboard view that when they log in, they can see. So they can see all of the students, and they can see how many hours they have. And they can also, you know, message them, and they can, um, you know, view that by freshmen, sophomore, junior, senior, and see different reporting based on that. So it really helps St. Teresa's, because this is the tool they're using to stay organized. And it reduces, you know, manual entry and spreadsheets and trying to go back and forth from different forms and entering that in. So, um, you know, we really appreciate you guys using this and I hope that I hope that it's a great tool for you guys. It saves you time and um, I'm always wanting to know feedback on how we could make this a better tool. Um, and, you know, again, please do email me or call me. Um, I'd love to, to learn more about, you know, what feedback you have, uh, whether it's good or bad. So, um, yeah, I mean, I was planning on about 20 minutes, so, um, you know, it's 10.15, and we can go ahead and uh, close this, and I'll upload it to YouTube, and um, I'll have Meredith send that out to everyone who was registered for this webinar. Um, and, yeah, have a good morning. So, Meredith, I'll let you close it out. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, everybody, for taking time out of your days to come to this. Um, if you have any questions about Service Week that's coming up at the end of this month or phase two hours for some of our agencies that are new, please don't hesitate to email me or call me. Um, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And um, I'll send an email out here with just some more information, last-minute last information for Service Week. So look forward to seeing um, some of you during faculty visits during that week and um, getting to know your agencies a little bit more. Thanks so much. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.